at the lake getting ready for tomorrow morning. Right now it's a cold one. Got the boat set up. I'm going to put the transducer that goes with my fish finder, mount that on tonight onto the trolling motor. I'm going to do some fishing in the morning and when I get done, I'm going to go ahead and map the lake real quick. I don't have a contour map of this lake. I thought that'd be something I might do tomorrow. So anyway, we're going to start it in the morning. Right now, I think I'm going to crank up the grill, make some supper. We'll see you on the lake tomorrow morning. All right, guys, sun is just peeking over the treetops. Let's go catch some fish. Okay, so why am I starting out whopper plopper versus frog? Well, there's just a little chop on the water. And the little chop is kind of nice for the whopper plopper and the buzz bait. Having just a little chop tends to make them work a little better. But the other thing that I'm really looking for is, is there even going to be a topwater bite this morning? I don't want to waste a lot of time and go slow. So I'm going to run down here at a pretty good clip. We're running the whopper plopper just a little bit. We're going to switch over to buzz bait because whopper plopper hasn't done anything yet. And within about 30 minutes here, 25 or so, I'm going to know if the uh, topwater bite's going to even exist this morning. And if not, put them all away. I'm gonna grab something else, and we'll try something different. There he goes. Picked one up on a buzz bait. Came right over the lily pads. Oh, there he goes. Oh, gone it. That's a nice fish. Well, that's enough to keep us doing topwater for a little while. There we go. Got another one. He takes it just when it came off the lily pads. There we go. Yeah, that's decent fish right there, huh? All right. Maybe 15, right at that. How bad? All right, here's what I'm using. This is a double-bladed buzz bait. This is one I made. Go around and look back in our, our stuff on making lures. Section there, you'll find how I made this, where I got the parts for it. That's good, let's see if we can find some more. There we go. There we got it. That's a nice one. Oh, Jake, he took it right when it hit the water, too. Yeah, you did. There you go. Ah. He swallowed her down there good. You choked her, didn't you, buddy? Got him out. No problem. There we go. Nice fish. Back with the jig. Worm didn't work. So we've just been going back and forth between the two. Right now we're back with the jig for a while. There we go. That's fish. Not very big fish, but it's fish. All right, the crankbait, and a new one, by the way. Mmm, called still. There we go, guys. Not very big one. Show you what I got him on. Get it off here. All right, took him on this one I just painted the other night. White with some black. 
and I don't know if that will show up, otherwise I'll show you later. There we go. Almost didn't think I had him for a second. <laughs> there we go. Hey, the old orange jig still keeps catching fish. Sure does. Not very big. This one's definitely not as big as the one Bob caught the other day with the orange jig. That one? This is a nice one. Oh, yeah. This is a good one. Oh, shit. Move your foot back. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, yeah. oh, keep him under. Bring him this way. Got him. Ooh, I think like you just got my master. Oh, done. I think you did. I'm sure you did. Huh? I'm sure you did. Give me a little bit of slack. I can get him out of here. Oh, there you go, buddy. You definitely. Oh, dang. There we go. That's a nice. Damn fish, Don. That's a nice one. There That's you go, nice fellas. One. This is what it's all about. All right, we're gonna Fishing one. with your best friend, catching big fish. Life don't get no better. Get him. Yep. Where'd you get that jig? Man. <laughs> That's yeah. You never done. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. You know what? Yeah. 20 inches, right on the button. 20 inches? And I mean on the, I might get an eighth of an inch extra out of it. But it's, it's a master though. It's 20, yeah. Let's see what we got for weight. Four, what do you think? That's got a little bit more of a belly. Man, it's a heavy fish. It's four over four. Oh yeah. Maybe my, I don't know if it make five, but it's feels I don't think heavy. so. I think four, six, four, seven. Maybe more than that, we'll see. Oh, not as big as I thought. Really? I got 4.08. So, four, four and an ounce. Yeah. Four pounds. Either way, nice fish. Get it? Thank you, fish. Ah, I got my master done. I knew, oh, I hope I catch one yet this, this year. Here we go. There you go. That's a nice fish. Oh, that was a real nice fish. Keep you out away from the bank here. That's a nice one. Haven't seen him yet. Back under the boat. Get the foot control all the way. So we can get down here to it. There we go. All right, nice fish, nice fish. Whew. Mm. There we go. Come on, let's see how long that one is. We can do that. Take a second here, see what we got. 17 inches, nice fish. I want to take just a minute to talk to you about, I said I like this river bug. And I want to give an example, here's why. I just got him, he's kind of getting kneed up a little. The lure is basically the same both ways, so I got it in, it's getting tore up. I'm just going to take it off, turn it around, put it back on again. And there we go. It'll hold another, maybe a couple more fish, then we'll have to start a new one.
There we go. My little one. I gotta get him off. Real quick here. I gotta see about this right here. There it is, guys. Catch of the day, I got my own fishing rod. <laughs> I don't know who it belongs to, we'll find out. Got a little lower on it. Catch of the day, right? It was just hanging from that tree branch. Unbelievable. All right, guys. Hey, we're gonna call it good. We caught, got a few. Nothing real big. I had one to 17, that's not too bad. Got a little diversity, topwater, jig, crankbait, and I managed to catch a fishing rod to boot. It's got a nice little crankbait on it. We'll probably take it up to the caretaker and let him put it out here and see if anybody lost one. I'm real interested in hearing the story behind the losing of that one because it was just hanging off a tree branch. And if you're in a boat, I would have thought you could just go over and pick it up like I did. But anyway, all right, we're going to finish this up. And now I'm going to start mapping the lake. I said I wanted to do that last night when I got done today. So got the fishing in, I'm going to do a map. I'll do another video of just doing the map. So if you want to watch how to make a map with the Garmin Echo, just watch the next one. That's where we'll do it. Thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to our channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.